when he opens your eyes to see his beauty, to see his goodness. You will turn to him with all of your heart. You will fall in love with him. Your life will be transformed. Your mind will be set free. Your body will be healed when your eyes are open to see Jesus. You must believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You must believe in His death on the cross. You must believe in His resurrection from the dead. Yes, indeed, one man can set a city on fire, but that man's got to be full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we find one of that such man in the book of Acts chapter 8. Yes, it's day number 8, Acts of the Apostles. And verse 4, we see, and the, again, that famous word, but the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. And one step back, we know from our past devotions that the church was being persecuted. And especially right now in the death of Stephen, and I call it murder, I and mean, he was stoned to death, the church split. The disciples and the apostles stayed in Jerusalem, but many, many others went their separate ways. But they didn't stop spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Again, one such person was Philip. Verse 5 states it very clearly. Philip, for example, went to the city of Samaria. Again, he preached the gospel. And in verse 6, it describes and it, crowds listened to him intently because they were eager to hear the message and many evil spirits were um, cast out and the power of God was being demonstrated friends that's what God's called you to do wherever you go to be a carrier of God's power through the Holy Spirit that's right and you know that's very verse goes on to say and many who had been paralyzed and lame were healed and friends there we come verse number eight so there was great joy in the city that city was set alight by the power of the holy ghost one man sets a city on fire philip friends what about you today? If one man can set Samaria on fire, what will happen when a ministry consisting of a number of believers, if they are on fire, set their community on fire? God is counting on you. You have all the tools. You have all the power. You just got to go and get the job done. That's right. The Holy Spirit is your guide, your comforter, your counselor. He will show you what to do. These are the end times, the final window of opportunity to rake in the end time harvest of souls. And God is counting on you, my friends. That's right. Philip said Samaria light. What about the ministry you belong to? Can you say the ministry that you are in will set your town on fire. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, once again, Daddy, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we know we can do nothing without the power of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because we would just do it in the flesh alone. Father, you want us to do it in spirit, to worship you in spirit and in truth to set others on fire too, as 
the ones that we come in contact with. Daddy, we want to be that Philip, setting our town alight, our Jerusalem on fire with the power of the Holy Ghost. Dad, we got to have first have that encounter before we can lead others to that encounter. And today I pray and declare in Jesus' name that everyone that's listening will have that second encounter. One, firstly, to know you. Two, to be baptized with the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I pray that and I speak it and I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Once again, friends, my time's up. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels. Pray that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.